Giving your life for your country is the ultimate sacrifice. Tara Skipper tells us about one young man who did just that on June 22nd. Twenty-two-year-old Corporal Claudio Patino IV was laid to rest at the Riverside National Cemetery on Friday, July 2nd. Patino died while supporting combat operations in the Helmand province of Afghanistan. Bagpipes playing Amazing Grace and a 21-gun salute sounded off in honor of the fallen Marine. Fire. About 150 people came to the ceremony to pay their respects. Before the burial, services were held at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Patino's hometown of Yorba Linda. Groups of veterans and other supporters came to the ceremony, including the Soldiers Angels and the Patriot Guard Riders. It's particularly helpful and cathartic for the families that we show up uh, the way the public is going to show up here in Yorba Linda. It shows them that their loss wasn't, wasn't in vain. Other attendees lined the street to see the procession from the Church of Latter-day Saints to the cemetery. The Patino family declined to comment to the media, but they are proud of their Marine, and so are many others. We are very proud of, of our military and our country, and we just want to stand up for those that are standing for us. The Patino family said that Claudio, or Nene as they like to call him, knew from a very young age that he wanted to be a Marine. His brother Marlon described him as being tough and respectful, while his sister Claudia remembers him for having a quote, goofy walk and a funny laugh. Patino graduated from El Dorado High School in Placentia in 2006, and he enlisted in the Marine Corps shortly after graduation. After coming back from his first tour in Afghanistan in December of 2009, he requested a special transfer so he could deploy again and avenge the death of his friend and fellow Marine and Orange County resident, Lance Corporal Justin Swanson. Patino is survived by his parents, his seven brothers and sisters, and his wife, Jamie. This is Tara Skipper reporting.